know, our country's standoff with gray gender violence has really increased in the past few years, significantly. And we are only made aware of the few who decide to stand up and raise their voices against this vehemence. That's why I think self-defense for women is indispensable. It really is all about the confidence with which you can face your attacker and disarm and immobilize them. Your attacker may come unnoticed from any corner of the street. Your attack, uh, attacker could be someone you knew, someone you trusted. You may even be in a situation where you find yourself facing a group or a person with a weapon. The attack can be fatal and your survival may depend on your ability to defend yourself. Learning self-defense from a professional will empower you with the ability to use your hands and your feet with a certain swiftness when your life depends on it and emerge from an undesirable situation unscathed. So here are a few pointers. One, keep a check when walking on the road to avoid groping from behind. Second, shout out stop in a loud and aggressive voice when you need to. Third, stay fit enough to run fast. Fourth, note down the number of the cab when you're traveling alone. Fifth and the most important one, at least for me, is enroll, enroll yourself in a self-defense class and learn techniques to physically fight your attacker. For example, basic kickboxing, basic karate, or even India's traditional stick fight. Um, in times like this, I think this is a commendable initiative. Self-defense empowers you and gives you the speed in which you need to escape from traumatic situations when you face an attacker. When you train your body and you train your mind, you will be more equipped to apply these skills to get out of such undesirable situations. Self-defense is not just a tool for protecting yourself. It grips you with a self-confidence that can help you achieve a lot more knowing that you can defend yourself whenever needed. This surety will make you braver and smarter. Be aware, act smart, be safe.